Okay, so we're gonna adjust the valves. Russ wanted us to check them out, make sure they're good. So first thing you gotta do is pull your spark plug cover. There's four 10 millimeter bolts. Pull it off, pull your spark plugs out. There's this bolt on the power steering pump bracket that holds the wiring harness down. You're gonna pull that. There's a ground here, 10 millimeter. You're gonna pull that. And then there's eight valve cover bolts, 10 millimeters as well. You got your intake tube to your PCV system. You gotta pull that, get it out of the way. And you also gotta pull your PCV valve out of here, just tuck it up out of the way. We'll get this thing off and dive into the valves. Valve cover's off. Gonna have to finagle it around these power steering line and the alternator wire. Disconnect your battery first. Me and Brandon are seasoned professionals, so didn't have to do that. Anyways, you'll get access to your head and then you're gonna want to pull off your spark plugs and then use something to get cylinder one to top dead center. Make sure your cam lobes are pointing up so they're not pushing down on any valves so you know that you're on the right stroke. We got the wheel pulled off. We're gonna have Brandon crawl under here and start rotating the engine counterclockwise until we get this to come up to top dead center. So you're just gonna come in here, 19 millimeter on the crankshaft. Like I said, these Hondas spin counterclockwise, so you wanna spin it this way. So Brandon's gonna start spinning. Okay, we're coming up. Whoa, slow, slow, slow. Whoa, okay, stop. Okay, you can see this uh, cam lobe is pointing up. This one is also pointing up, meaning we have the valves seated against the combustion chamber, which means we're where we need to be. You can also see our arrows on our cam gears are pointed up and these two little indicators are pointing each other on the cam gear. Come up just a little bit, Brennan. Okay, right there. We should be perfect to start adjusting our valves. These are the dealer gauges we're gonna use. We're 0 0.008 on the exhaust side, 0 0.006 on the intake side. These ones are easy to find since I use them a lot. I even got them a little bent. What you're gonna do, is you're gonna loosen these 10 mils right here and then you're gonna slide, because this is the exhaust, we're gonna do 0 0.008. You're gonna slide the uh, fear gauge in between the cam lobe and the rocker. You're gonna want slight drag, which that feels almost perfect right there. We'll uh, put it to spec anyway and uh, show you guys how to do this. So this is the least conventional way to do it since we don't have the proper tools, but we're just gonna start backing that off. You can start tightening. And we got our feeler gauge kind of stuck in there, so we're gonna back it off a little bit. That's what we're looking for, just a slight little drag. Now, since we have the proper tools, we're going to hold it with our screwdriver and start running it in with this open end. And get it snug. So we got the exhaust adjusted because I forgot my tool to do this at home. Just kind of a quick tip if you don't have the tool, you're just gonna kinda wanna get it close with the feeler gauge, tighten it down, make sure you're still in spec. What we've been doing is we have a nine here. Make sure the nine won't go in, the eight will. Nine is still within spec, but we're just trying to get this thing perfect for Russ because he's really wanting us to run the valves. So we're just gonna make sure they're at spec. That's how we've been doing it. So exhaust is done. Now we're gonna to move to the intake with the 0 0.06. Intake valves adjusted, slight drag, slight drag, sorry. It's really hard to film back here, but cam lobes are right there. Adjusters are right there. So now we're gonna move on to cylinder number two. Same thing, rotate it till the cam lobes are pointing up, valves are seated, and we'll start adjusting. Oh, we're coming up, we're coming up. Oh, the power stroke right there. Dang. Can't stop. Cylinder number two, top dead center. Cam lobes pointing up, same thing. Cylinder two, valves are adjusted. They weren't that far out. So now we're gonna go with cylinder number three. Right there. Throw a feeler gauge on this old son of a gun. Perfect. Number four, kind of top dead center. Cam lobes pointing up. We'll get these adjusted. Okay, well, we got new NGK spark plugs in it. Seems to be idling better. It still has a slight miss, but we did find that the knock sensor was uh, broken off. So 
The owner of the car is ordering an aux sensor. We'll probably put it in Friday, depending on availability. But we're letting it warm up and uh, got the valves adjusted on it. We're letting my car warm up. We're gonna kind of run them side by side to see if this car has the power it should. My car's basically stock. I mean, it's got a standalone and kind of dialed in, but this car should definitely run comparable to this car. We got Bryce, Bryce brought his fifth gen over. So we got a whole prelude gang going here. Got enough heat in the old girl. Gonna back them out and see how it does. One, two, three, go! Thank you. 